getting an extra special treat for dinner tonight, guys. What are we getting? McDonald's. McDonald's. And what are we going to order? Happy Meals. Happy Meals. The Happy Meals are something that McDonald's invented way back in 1979. And they thought it would be a perfect way to get kids to think of McDonald's as their favorite restaurant. McDonald's continues to do the Happy Meal, but they changed it a little bit. Like when I was little, we used to get cookies. Now we get apple slices or yogurt. But one thing still remains the same, and that is the favorite part, the toys. Yeah, the toys. You still can find that, that special treasure in there. And it's what kids all over the world love. It brings them a lot of joy. In today's lesson, we are gonna be learning about the wise men and how they brought gifts to Jesus because they knew that he was the best present the world had ever received and that he was gonna fill the world with joy. Join us. The, the Lord, Lord has done great things for us. And we are filled with joy. Psalms 126, three. Hey, Divine Kids, good to see you guys. So. Our lesson today is based off of the star that the wise men follow. So join us in warming up for our worship by making our own little stars. Are you ready, Mateo, Nora? Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. These are our stars, guys. We'll see you soon. Enjoy the worship. Story movie introduces a new character. Disney does that on purpose. One, because they know that if they have a new character, you're gonna have to make a new toy because you're gonna want to buy that toy, which means they're gonna get more money. And two, they do it because that's really the reality. Look at your toys from the beginning of the year to the toys that you have now. You've probably added a couple toys here and there, probably from birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, 
or maybe you've bought a Happy Meal and you've added a toy from there. But that's how it is. Sometimes our toys change from one from one occasion to the other. Maybe we have to throw toys away because they break. Or maybe we give toys away because we've outgrown them. If you're a kid that plays with toys, your toy collection is constantly changing and you're probably adding new toys. As a mom, I'm always trying to find ways to better organize the toys. When I was growing up, we used to have a toy box and it used to be this big, heavy wooden box. And at the end of the day, it was great because I would just throw in all my toys in there and it was a quick cleanup. But the next day, when I wanted to play with something, I would have to search in that box, which meant usually taking everything out, making a huge mess, and having to clean it up all over again the next day. Nowadays, we use plastic containers or we use baskets to keep our toys organized. And that helps contain all these little things a lot better. Okay guys, I've asked Mateo to help me out today and show me how he organizes some of his toys. Theo, can you show me? Yep. This is what keeps my airport box. This is what keeps my bridges. This is what keeps my mini city stuff. This is what keeps my track mask too. And this is what keeps my dinosaur. What about your train tracks? Where do you keep those? Which is in this bucket? These are the clothes in this bucket. And this is has for the up, up tracks and little, little, little tracks. And this one has all different kinds. Whoa! And does it make it easy to see where your toys are at, having them organized like this? Yep. All right. Thank you, Del. Thale's toy organization makes me so happy. Whenever I see Nora putting her toys away, I jump for joy. And I bet your parents do too. Anyway, the night that Jesus was born, men from far, far away traveled a long distance to come and bring him gifts. They brought him gifts that were fit for a king. But that wasn't the only reason why they traveled that far. They came because they wanted to worship him. Let's read a little bit about their story. The wise men. Far away, one cold, dark night, some wise men saw a strange new light. They looked at the sky and wondered why one star should be so big and bright. Then one of them said, the star must mean that something great is happening. A special king was born tonight, and that's the reason for this light. Then all of them cried, let's follow the star. It may be near or it may be far. We'll search until we find the place where we can see the baby's face. So off they went to follow the star. And was it near or was it far? Oh, it was far, so far away. But on they traveled day after day. And then one night, the star shone down upon a house in Bethlehem town. And there they saw, to their delight, the reason for the shining light. The wise men's hearts were filled with joy. As they bowed down before the boy, they gave their treasures to the king and went back home, still worshiping. These men traveled from far, far away. People who study the Bible believe that these men traveled for two years to get to Jesus. Two years, two years there and two years back. And these roads, they were dangerous and super difficult. That shows you the commitment that they had in wanting to go and see baby Jesus. When you know the reason why Jesus came and what he did for us, you would find reasons to praise him too. Jesus came to save us, to give us everlasting life 
and to give us a joy that never ends. There is no better reason to worship than that. When we talk about worship and praise, you probably think about our Sunday, our Sunday service and the amazing worship team that leads us in song every Sunday. And you're right, that is a part of praise and worship. But we don't just sing at church. You can sing at home, you can sing in your car, you can sing anywhere. During Christmas, we're giving even more opportunities to sing and praise God. Did you know that a lot of Christmas songs talk about Jesus? Silent Night, Away in a Manger, Joy to the World. These are all songs that talk about the birth of Jesus. These are all opportunities for us to worship him. And these songs are played everywhere, at the mall, in restaurants, and maybe even at your school. When you understand that the greatest joy was brought when Jesus was born, and that was because he came to save us from our sins, you will be like the wise men seeking opportunities to worship and praise him. I encourage you that this week, you listen to Christmas music that talks about Jesus to and praise him for the joy that he brought into our lives. Thank you.